Welcome all to the next video on know-how series which is overflow rule for addition and subtraction. The overflow rule for addition is if two two's complement numbers are added and if they both have the same sign then overflow occurs even only if the result has the opposite sign. So first let me just give you an introduction about what is two's complement number and what are the range of numbers that can be accommodated in a two's complement representation. To represent a given binary number, say for example, it is 1101 in two's complement representation, we first take one's complement of the given number and the one's complement says negate the given binary number then it is 0, 0, 1, 0. and to obtain the two's complement of the given binary number we add one more one for the two's complement so which gives us 1 1 0 0 so the two's complement of 1 1 0 1 is going to be 0 0 1 1 is the two's complement representation of 1 1 0 1 and the range of two's complement numbers that can be accommodated is minus 2 power n minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. So these are the range of numbers that can be accommodated in two's complement representation. And therefore, if you are going to represent in 4 bit, for example, then the po maximum possibility of numbers that we can accommodate in this range is minus 2 power 3 to 2 power 3 minus 1 which is in 4 bit we can represent up to minus 8 to plus 7. So this is the set of numbers that we can accommodate in a 2's complement representation using 4 bit. If the result of an arithmetic operation is too large either it is positive or negative to fit into the resultant bit range then arithmetic overflow occurs that is the general rule for any overflow to occur you can see a picture here which is showing that there is a glass of water and a person is pouring a water above and above and it gets started overflowing so this water which is exceeding the amount of capacity this glass can hold is nothing but the overflow of water and similarly here whenever we perform any arithmetic operation and if that result of an arithmetic operation is going to be too large to get accommodated like this glass of water then there occurs an arithmetic overflow. Now comes the special rule for addition. Here we have seen the statement in the previous slide where it says that you can have two two's complement numbers and if they both are going to have the same sign which means either both positive or both negative then overflow will occur if and only if the result has the opposite sign overflow never occurs when you're adding two operands with different signs this statement means that adding two positive numbers must give a positive result and adding two negative numbers must give a negative result but since we have an opposite sign here there we say that it is an overflow condition so here is an example for representing the condition of overflow during addition here we take add minus 7 to minus 6 using 4 bit 2's complement numbers so first since both are negative numbers we will take the 2's complement representation of the positive number. So now we will have plus 7 as 0 triple 1 and plus 6 is denoted as 0 double 1 0 and when we take 2's complement of plus 7 it is going to be 1 0 0 0 as 1's complement and after adding one more one we will be having one zero zero one similarly the two's complement of plus six is equal to one zero one zero so this is representing 
minus 7 and minus 6 and we are going to add both of them and here it is specifically given as 4 bit. So, this is the capacity that the register can hold. The register can hold only up to 4 bit numbers. So, here we will see the addition 1 plus 0 is going to give you 1 and 0 plus 1 is again 1, 0 0 is 0, 1 1 is 0 and here we have one more 1 which is exceeding the number of bits that the register can hold then you call this as an overflow condition. Here we can see that this glass can hold a particular amount of water over and above it cannot hold and we say that water is overflowing out of the glass. Similarly, the register can hold only 4 bit data and here we have a 5 bit result which is indicating that the register cannot hold these 5 bit numbers and we say that it has an overflow. And the rule says when you have both numbers of same sign. So, here we have minus 7 and minus 6. So, both the two's complement numbers are going to have the same sign and the overflow will occur when you have a different sign from these any of these two operands. If you have the same sign of minus then that should not be a problem. But here what do you have? Here you have the register can hold only 0011. So, what is the number 0011 representing? 0011 is representing you plus 3 where you had the operands as minus 7 and minus 6 and the resultant bit is having a different sign than the operand sign and therefore we say that it is an overflow and even if you are finding about the actual result when you take 10011 you can very well see 10011 is nothing but your minus 13. This is from the concept that plus 13 if you represent in 5 bit since we are talking about 5 bit though the register cannot hold and we have declared that it is an overflow we should also understand one more point we should understand the plus 13 5 bit representation that representation we take it as 0 1 1 0 1 and the 2's complement of plus 13 is nothing but when you take 2's complement of this you will get 1 double 0 1 1 this 1 double 0 1 1 is what we have got which is indicating you minus 13 right so now this minus 13 you can check it in other way as an overflow because it is a 4 bit 2's complement number. What is the maximum range that we can accommodate in a 4 bit 2's complement number representation? It is only up to minus 8 to plus 7 and from this itself we can understand that when we directly add minus 7 to minus 6 our basic understanding itself will tell us minus 7 and minus 6 is going to give minus 13 and we know that it is a 4 bit 2's complement representation and we can easily tell that minus 13 cannot be accommodated in this particular range. So, that is obviously an overflow. So, that is one way of interpreting and here the other way of interpreting is we have got 5 bits and the 5 bits cannot be held in a 4 bit register. So, that is another way of interpreting overflow and the last way is uh, going as per the rule is like when you add two numbers, two two's complement numbers of same sign that is going to result you in an overflow if the result is going to have an opposite sign and here the resultant bit is going to be 4 bits and that is indicating 0011 and that has a sign of plus which is again opposite to either minus 7 or minus 6. So, in that way also we can say that it is an overflow. Now, to understand the overflow rule for subtraction, First, let us understand about the definitions. One is the supra hen and the other one is the minu hen. Like we say that it is A minus B, we should know what is supra hen and what is minu hen. Where I tell that A is the minu hen and B is the supra hen. Where minu hen is what is being subtracted from. So, it is subtracted from A. And supra hen is what you are subtracting, what is being subtracted. So, here b is subtracted. So, b is the supra hen. Now, coming about the rule, if two two's complement numbers are subtracted and if their signs are different, there in addition it was like signs are same. And then overflow occurs even only if the result has the same sign as the supra hen. And that is the reason I have explained what is supra hen and minu hen. So, with the basic example, 
we'll just try to understand this rule for subtraction. Now here is the common notation of the overflow rule for subtraction and the two twos complement numbers they have different signs and the overflow will occur if the result has the same sign as the subtraction. So here you can see the result in bit is C and it is having the same sign as your minus B and here it is plus B and the resultant bit is having plus C. So then it is called as overflow. Here we will take one more example. Subtract minus 6 from plus 7 using 4 bit 2's complement numbers. So here also we are going to use 4 bit. Then we know the range of numbers that it can get accommodated is from minus 8 to plus 7. So we need not represent plus 7 in 2's complement because it is a positive number. Only for negative numbers we do this 2's complement representation. So plus 7 is directly taken as 0, triple 1 and we need to represent minus 6 in 2's complement. So therefore I have taken here plus 6 we know that it is 0, double 1, 0 and minus 6 is the 2's complement representation wherein we have obtained 1, 0, 1, 0. And now we can see that we need to subtract minus 6 from plus 7. So plus 7 minus of minus 6 we need to do. So we know that plus 7 minus of minus 6 which means minus 6 we have got 2's complement. So again minus 6 this 2's complement of minus 6 again we are going to do one more minus. So that will become plus 6 actually. So, so we can directly represent here plus 6 and that is why here I have given as 0 double 1 0 and I have shown this like how to represent a negative number in 2's complement that was the intention and since we had plus 7 minus of minus 6 we have always taken plus 7 and plus 6 and that gives the result of plus 13 and we know the first interpretation as it can hold only 4 bit 2's complement numbers though it is 4 bit but the range of 4 bit 2's complement numbers that it can accommodate is only from minus 8 to plus 7 and we see here it is the answer the resultant bit shows it is plus 13 and it is very clear that plus 13 cannot be accommodated in that particular range of 4 bit representation and here we can see that 1101 1, is nothing but 1 is representing the negative number the MSB bit right so therefore 1101 1, 1 is representing minus 3 because we know that plus 3 is 0, 0, 0011 1, and 2's complement of plus 3 is 1101 1, 1, which is minus 3 and here the resultant is also plus 13 and that indicates that it is an overflow and minus 3 we can see that plus 7 we had plus 7 and minus 6 these are the two operands and plus, uh, plus 7 was the minuhen and minus 6 is the saprahen. As per the rule what it says the overflow will occur if and only if the result has the same sign as the saprahen. and here you can see that 1101 1, 1, you can interpret this as minus 3 and this minus 3 is having the same sign of the saprahen minus. So in that way also we can say that it is an overflow. This shows the overflow detector circuit where we have three inputs one is A and minus one which is indicating the MSB of number A and MSB of number B is represented as B and minus one and this is going to be the MSB of the result and now we can see that the overflow will occur when this condition is satisfied. Let us take one example for better understanding. We know that the rule for overflow rule for addition is if two two's complement numbers are taken and if they have both are same sign then overflow will occur if the result has the opposite sign. Right now we will say plus 7 is 0 triple 1 and plus 3 is 0 0 1 1 and the answer gives 1 0 1 0 which is plus 10 actually we should get but what we have got is 1010 0, 0, where 1 is the representation of because we have done everything in 2's complement representation. So the 2's complement representation we should find out for 1010 0, 0, where 1010 0, 0 is the 2's complement representation of plus 6. We can see that plus 6 is 0 uh, 1 1 0 and when you take 1's complement you will get it as 1 0 0 1 and when you add one more one 
it will give you 1010 so which is actually two's complement representation of plus 6 so therefore the result that we have got when you are adding plus 7 and plus 3 was 1010 which is actually minus 6 now let us write what is a n minus 1 a n minus 1 is this and b n minus 1 is this and r n minus 1 is this one so a n minus 1 is going to be 0 and b n minus 1 is going to be 0 and r n minus 1 is 1 and when you apply that in this formula it is going to be 0 dot 0 dot 0 plus 1 dot 1 dot 1 so where the overflow is set because overflow is equal to 1 and this indicates that whenever you have this condition overflow is occurring similarly you can take both negative numbers that will also set your overflow detection now coming for the summary adding operands of different signs never produces an overflow because we know that when you are adding operands of different sign i'll take one example like we can take it as uh, plus 5 and minus 2 so where plus 5 is 0 101 and minus 2 we need to find out what is the 2's complement representation of plus 2 which is actually triple 1 0 you can do it that is uh, very simple now when you are adding both of them so we are going to add so it is like 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 will be there we always discard carry that is very usual procedure now you can see that the result is nothing but plus 3 and always we know that when you are doing plus 5 and minus 2 the result has to be plus 3 and that is what we have got here there is no change in the sign bit also in 4 bit representation of 2's complement we can accommodate minus 8 to plus 7 and plus 3 can be very well accommodated in this particular range and therefore it is well proved that adding operands of different signs never produces an overflow that is because the absolute of the result is always smaller than the absolute value of any one of the operands because we can see that when you take an absolute value of the result the result is 3 and it is always smaller than any one of the value of the two operands so that is obviously less than plus 5 right so and that is the reason when you add numbers of different sign overflow cannot occur hope you all might have got a clear idea on how overflow occurs during addition and subtraction thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel